when I'm not walking the fine line between extreme vanity and crushing realism. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, thank you, thank you. This is Kindred. My name is Sean. Sean we are Sarasota's most attractive and seventh or eighth best sounding acoustic duo. <laughs> I like to answer questions that I get on YouTube, so let's get to it. Love it. Question for the future QA. I've been enjoying the Sean Daniel lick. That's a major arpeggio, right? Can you teach the minor version of that lick? I was playing G major 7, A minor 11, and trying to do that lick over the G and A minor. I think I figured it out by ear, but would love to see it officially. Thanks. All right, so the Sean Daniel lick is as follows. And you're exactly right. It really is just a major seven arpeggio, okay? One note played at a time. So we're gonna do this and then we're gonna convert it to minor and then you can use the same principles in any kind of conversion process you'd ever wanna do. So we start with the G and we slide from the fifth fret to the seventh fret on the E string. So a one, two, three, this is all from the G major scale, okay? You can play it however you want. But really it's just talking, it's about numbering things through a major scale. So again, this one is one, two, three, five, eight, seven, five, six, five. Okay, so once you start kind of seeing licks and anything in numbers, it's so easy to transition because again, I'll do one more time. So here's the G major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, eight, seven, five, six, five. Now, if you do the same thing with minor, this is how you transition from major to minor. Here's the minor scale in G. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exact same thing with flat three, six, seven. Okay, so one, two, three, five, eight, seven, five, six, five. As compared to. Uh, Okay, so you can do the same thing in reverse. Like uh, I did that video on Crazy Train, which is really just the minor scale. You could make it major, so here's Crazy Train. All right, so if this is just like F sharp minor, one, one, five, one, six, one, five, one, four, three, two, three, four, three, two, seven. You can do the same thing by taking that Crazy Train, getting it some, some therapy and a lot of love, and then making the major happier version of Crazy Train so it's more of like a sane train, right? So one, one, five, one, six, one, five, one, four, three, two, three, four, three, two, the major. So it's all about numbering things through scale if you ever want to kind of like really just take a different spin on maybe your own stuff, anything else, but that's how you convert something from major to minor or minor to major. How does Sean Daniel manage to maintain just the right amount of stubble? What's the secret? Okay, trade secret revealed. So first of all, you just need any cheap electric buzzer type thing. Here's the trick, okay? A lot of times people use it by going up like that. No, no, no. The trick is to go down like this because it leaves a lot of the stubble there and it doesn't give it so you're like almost clean shaven, all right? So once you got that down, then you have to go up on the neck part of it. This is like the real key here because doing this kind of like saves you that like nasty like neck beard looking thing, right? So therefore you have longer stubble on the face than you have on the neck, which is very important. I can't stress that enough. I have not been clean shaven in like 13 years. So heed my advice. Uh, here's a comment from a, a nice man whose avatar seems to be a beautiful lush colored landscape. What a stupid lesson, you played nothing. You just dinked on some chords and showed us nothing with it. What a stupid lesson where you just showed us what to do and then did nothing. <laughs> you showed us nothing. I love it. Caius is greater than Queens of the Stone Age. All right, I like Caius. I like Caius a lot. Queens of the Stone Age, as you people know, is one of my top five favorite bands of ever. You've got to be a real hater, a real contrarian, to be like Caius is greater with that many greater signs than Queens of Stone Age. Come on! Nice vibe, but the acoustic is sounding too electrified for my taste. What amp and pedal are you using? So this is a comment from the recent gig vlog I did with Kindred, which actually surprised me too because the audio I did, I just took straight from the Bose L1 Tone Match Mixer and other times I've done vlogs, I just kind of use like a camera and maybe get like something from like a, a different soundboard and stuff. 
And you're absolutely right, that acoustic sounded super bright and electrified, which I kind of hate. But the weird thing is, it doesn't sound like that live. It only sounds like that from the direct out from the mixer. So I don't go through any pedals or amps when I just do the acoustic thing. I just plug it right into the Bose tone match uh, thing. Which, again, live sounds great, but for whatever reason, the direct out from that sounds very super bright that doesn't get the same thing live. So, I don't know. It, the nice thing about that recording is it's very clean, but I do agree with you, it does sound a little too electrified. Show off. That is the synth I need in my life right now. So, this is about the video I did with the DSi Profit Rev 2, which is absolutely life-changing. I love it. I'm sorry if you hate synths, there's going to be some synth videos soon, so stay tuned for that because that thing is absolutely like the greatest non-guitar instrument eh, that I've got my hands on. So speaking of great synth music, the listening homework I'm going to throw you to today is Suzanne Sunfor. I think that's how you say her name. Absolutely awesome. I urge you to check it out. Really cool. She's got a great collection of uh, a huge catalog that I'm just getting into. Her most recent one is kind of like the perfect symmetry between like acoustic guitar and synth, but I'm gonna link you to a different one which is just straight up like amazing synth music, which I kind of feel that maybe Muse heard before they did Algorithm, but whatever, that's neither here nor there. Anyways, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comment section, Instagram, Twitter, or the website, and I will also be going to Nam this week, so hopefully we're gonna have some cool stuff coming from there. I'll talk to you guys soon, thanks.